What's going on everyone? I thought, why not do a video? Uh, because I'm building something. A platform for a new cage where we're gonna house the Mertens water monitor and, uh, I don't know, a snake species of some kind. Uh, I've put it actually, this is what I'm doing, I'm gonna put it in between the marginated and Herman tortoise pens right on the side of my house because I've got electricity. Uh, I think it'll be cool when the, the what is this here, the Gawadua bamboo and the black bamboo really take off. It'll, it gets sun, it's kind of in a good location. Uh, it's not just out there in the open, but here's what I've done. Um, so guys, I am no carpenter and uh, boy, it's hot out and I get frustrated, especially when I have to do math. So to keep it simple, I had gone out and I bought eight foot long two by sixes, okay? And I nailed them together to form a square. Now, because I'm not good at math, well, hey guys, I'm not holding phones either. But because I'm not good at math, what I did was I uh, nailed the two by four, uh, this two by six to here, and it turns out I was about three and a half inches um, longer on one side. So I had to go back, cut the middle braces all, uh, take them down, and now I've got a perfect eight by eight foot uh, platform. I'm gonna put PVC board on top of this, uh, but right now what I'm doing is I'm digging my post holes. Uh, let me tell you, this was not light either. Um, good thing Kate came out and helped me. Um, I actually, we lifted it over and we placed it straddling both enclosures of the marginated on the right and the elongated tortoises, which are right there. It, not elongated, Hermans. And uh, I'm gonna level this all off when I dig these posts in. We're gonna do that. And basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go ahead and put the, uh, the board on this. I'll put PVC board on and then this cage, which I had the materials just languishing around. They were laying around, but they were sad because they weren't being used. That's why I use the word languish. And uh, I built this. So we're gonna finish screening it in. I'll build doors, but this section will have the Mertens and a tub for water. And on this side, I'm gonna have um, some kind of snake. I think would look really cool. So it's about 80 inches long and 74 inches wide. So it's got a lot of space, six foot tall. I'll be able to get on in there and move about and I think the animals will be happy. So I am documenting this for you all to see. There's so much work going on at the camp. I just had to get these animals situated. You know I got the monkey tail skinks all set up. They're getting along fantastically. You wanna have a peek at them? Let's go look. Let's go see the monkeys. Mr. Monkey Tails, they're probably, it's midday, so they're probably inside their cork barks, and that's what they're doing. Yeah, look at this. There's a tail right there, and uh, maybe if I come over here, oh, look, there's, there's Solomon. Come here, Solly. Come here, Solomon. He's in his, and see uh, El Diablo, so that's uh, interesting. No El Diablo, but I'm sure he's fine. He might be in there with Solomon. Now I'm curious. Let's wipe this off a little bit. I'm curious, man. Let's go see. Is El Diablo in there? It's a little um, break in the middle of our building a new Mertens water monitor habitat to go see what's doing with those guys. I like to keep eyes on them. Remember, they've been in this enclosure less than a week, so I want to make sure everything's still good today. So that's what we're going to do. And then I'll go ahead and maybe do a time lapse so you guys can see me dig these posts in. But uh, in the meantime, let's see what the monkey tails are doing because I know you guys are curious and I like to uh, keep you all up to date with the goings on here at the camp. So much happening, so much. There's Wolfo and Lola. They're super excited about life, you know? They got a lot going on, which is nice. Uh, but let's see, we'll open this, pull this out. Let's look, where is El Diablo? Is Diablo in here? There he is, Diablo is in there with Solomon. They're getting along. How cool is that, everyone? That is amazing. Diablo's in there. So we got our question answered. They seem to be doing just fine. So there you have it. Okay, I'm gonna step back out because daylight is a waste in people and I like to get things done, especially since I'm the only guy getting them done. Um, you know, I ain't got a team of uh, laborers here. It is I, Kenan, who stands alone, me versus the wood. And when I tell you folks, it is me versus the wood because a carpenter, I am not. But uh, you know what? If you got the will, you'll find a way and uh, you won't let a pesky thing like measuring things or mathematics keep you from making your reptile enclosure. 
Um, so there you go. All right, everyone. Hope you're enjoying this. I'm going a little nuts. See ya. So I've got the platform done, it's all leveled out. I need to go buy the PVC board that is gonna sit on top because it won't rot out because uh, it's gonna get wet. Um, the pressure treated wood will be fine. Uh, so I'm just gonna go run to my local home shopping goods center. Pick up something. Uh, so there you go, we're moving right along. Uh, it's a lengthy process, but um, what are you gonna do? This is what it takes. Oh yeah, you know how the Disney people have their Imaginarium? That's mine. It's my warehouse and I love it. Uh, so okay, here's the update. We're moving right along with this cage. I uh, skipped forward a few steps because guys, you don't want to see the, uh, the minutia, but here's what's going on. It's fully uh, enclosed now. We got the doors hung. Doors are gonna be in the back right there. I got the two tubs in. There's gonna be uh, cypress mulch. Uh, kind of filling that up. It's gonna be even with the top of those tubs. There's little drains in the tubs. Uh, I'm gonna have to fill them up by hose until I plumb some water in. Uh, one side will be for a monitor, the other side will be for some snakes, or who knows what could be living in there. Uh, but here's what I'm up to now. Um, you know, I put this border on, which is gonna contain the mulch <clears throat> as I fill it up. Uh, but here's what I'm up to. So I got the idea, I was looking at some bamboo I had, you see? I had this nice pieces of bamboo. I'm gonna line it. I'm gonna kind of create a bamboo look, uh, cover the steel on the outsides, maybe a couple on the insides with this kind of bamboo, split it in half. A little labor intensive, but you know what? When this thing is done, it'll look super cool. So there's gonna be bamboo on the steel, uh, but I needed longer pieces of bamboo. Well, what do you do? Here's what I do. I was inspired, because I know you guys enjoy this kind of thing. Now. Just to give you a little context here, um, the day that I'm filming this particular moment is a Saturday. And I just got off the phone with Kate and I'm supposed to be going out uh, somewhere and I don't want to get in trouble, so I got to be quick. But um, what I did was started this project, you see. I, uh, I cut down two pieces of these long, giant bamboo. Uh, this stuff is like a renewable resource, you see. Now, you're supposed to let the bamboo cure and all that, but you know what, I don't care. I'm going to cut this up, split it, and I'm going to use this bamboo uh, to kind of, you know, frame the, uh, the new cage. Uh, plenty more new shoots growing up real quick. Look at how fast they grow. This was damaged last year in Hurricane Irma. New shoots coming up. It's going to be amazing. So it's just beautiful. These were only a few weeks old, these shoots. Look at this. It's a beautiful, renewable resource. So. I got this down. I'm now getting rid of the, uh, whoa, oh, I just stepped on my chainsaw. Um, I'm now getting rid of all the branches on it. So that's what I'm up to. So uh, let's see if, you know, this is not the way to use a chainsaw, kids. But what I basically have to do is come over here and I just do this. Just cutting, we're cutting. So many of you guys are angry at the way I use my chainsaw from that video with Fred. Uh, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, I can't make everyone happy. And so, you know, I gotta have... Oh, oh, yeah! All right, well, there you have it, everyone. Some uh, real high-octane camp cannon in action. I'm gonna get back to work here so I don't cut a leg off and therefore render myself useless. And I gotta hurry up because I gotta go ahead on over and uh, hang with the fam family. All right, so there's an update. Uh, next stop, hopefully this thing will be done. See ya. Okay, so now what I'm doing, uh, if you guys remember from making the gates, video where I made the gates, I take the bamboo and I split it, um, and I'll show you what I've been doing. Um, the rain has been coming in and out, so we're not quite done, but, uh, well, I think the cage is starting to look pretty cool. So here it is. There is the cage. So I split the bamboo, 
and uh, you know, I've been just basically tacking it on with some uh, text bolts, text screws, self-tapping screws right into the, to the uh, it's not steel actually. I was, I, I was making a mistake, it's aluminum. Let me wipe this off. Hey, that's a little better. Uh, so anyway, I have to cut uh, another piece and just staple it in uh, just to give it a nice finished look, at least on the outside. Then I'm gonna start adding all of my mulch, which I have right there. We're gonna mulch all this, bring up the levels, clean out the water, fill the water up, and then we got to get to the decorating uh, to the branches and stuff so that these uh, the animals that I put in here have uh, exercise and places to bask and hide. And I've got shelves I'm going to put in so they can just bask and enjoy life. So uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks, guys. I think it's um, it's coming out nice. I think that the uh, bamboo adds, you know, a little bit to this whole thing. You know, it's more for me, the human, to enjoy it. But, you know, we've got this renewable resource. Uh, it's right here. Uh, now I'm starting to get a little bamboo crazy. I might get inspired and bamboo some of the other cages um, because I just think it looks good. It changes things up. Uh, pretty pleased. So guys, you know, so many of you think that this takes money. It doesn't. It takes, you know, the initial investment to buy the house and the plants. And then, you know, you get older, you work towards a goal as I did. Um, you know, not a rich dude, but with a little ingenuity and a little bit of imagination, uh, you can make something really cool for yourself and for the animals. We're not done yet. Got a lot more to do. I'm going to get back to it. I'll see you in another moment. Don't look yet, but I'm excited because the warehouse is, well, it's clean somewhat. It was really destroyed in there. Um, it's not raining. The cage is done. It's ready for the Mertens monitor, but I want to show it off to you guys first. Really excited about this. Like I said, man, I am not a construction guru. But come on over here, There is this is it, this is the cage. I used, um, as you saw in the video, you know, we took bamboo and we decorated it. I like kind of just these little touches that kind of um, add to the cage because, you know, for the human beings and for the reptiles and the animals living in it, it really needs to be um, aesthetically pleasing. I just really like that. Um, you wanna make it look more natural. Of course, I just grabbed some logs that I had here uh, laying around the, um, you know, yard. Uh, I'm going to go over to Kyle's later. He's got a bunch of uh, oak branches that he's cut. Oak's really nice, big, gnarly branches, the live oak. Um, so this cage is ready to go right here on this section. We're going to put the Mertens monitor uh, into his new habitat, into the enclosure. Um, I've used the vinyl coated wire because this lessens the uh, ability for the animals to rub on that wire and hurt their noses. Uh, so I really like using this. It. Very expensive, but it's best for the animal. Uh, the frame, as you saw, was made out of aluminum. But here's something I added since we, we last talked uh, in the video. And you can see I put up those bamboo slats. Uh, each one of those I had to cut with the machete and uh, stick up with, a, uh, with some staples. And what that's going to do is provide a visual barrier uh, between the Mertens monitor and the snakes because we don't want to stress out any animals. Uh, certainly if there were two pythons living next to me and I was their potential prey, I might be a little nervous. Uh, they don't understand that there's wire uh, there that they can't get through. So we, we have it blocked off. It looks kind of cool from this side as well. Uh, there's going to be plants throughout here, uh, more branches, not quite ready for the snakes yet, but that'll give us something to do in another video, which I'm excited about. Uh, there may also be, I might keep it vacant because we have another creature coming to the uh, camp, and I'm excited about that, but that's for another video, guys. Lots going on this week. I'm just glad that I got this done, and I'm sure Kate's glad I got this done because I become kind of obsessed when I start a project, don't I, dear? You do, but yeah. it looks wonderful. I'm Thank so proud of you. Yeah, I'm very happy, you know. Um, I had to consult her father and brother, who are uh, craftsmen, they build homes, and uh, I do not build homes, I build homes for reptiles, so I'm happy I was able to do this. But let's go look on the inside, and I'll show you what's doing. Come on up here. Kate will brave the uh, back over here, but the back of the cage is where the doors are. And so I went and I put, I put three uh, of these sash locks here. So I've got one here, and then I've got one down and one on top. And this will keep 
the animals, if I put a different animal that's large and is strong, they won't be able to press open the bottom. And I've had Slinky do that to his cage, so I had to add these uh, top and bottom on the doors so that it just really keeps them from being able to push through. So let's open it up. I'm really excited that the doors work too. I'm telling you, this is like, you know, I'm mildly uh, handicapped when it comes to building things, but um, with perseverance, time, patience, it all works out. So I just cut some palm fronds off. That'll provide some security and cover. Uh, I'm really psyched on this. I just discovered this. I have this real big diameter bamboo, right? And there are nodes. Bamboo has nodes or segments in the bamboo and the cane. Um, what I was able to do is I was able to bust out that segment. So now you guys, uh, a lizard can crawl in here and hide. And this is a cool, natural looking hide, don't you think? It's just a piece of bamboo. Uh, so I'm pretty stoked on that. So I've kind of half buried that in this cypress mulch bedding. Uh, he'll be able to bury himself in the mulch. Um, there's a couple of branches. I use these Rubbermaid tubs uh, that are right here. Uh, they're, they're little shallow tubs. I really like those. Uh, I have a plug there with a hole in it so he can't slither out, escaping through the drain hole. Um, so that's pretty good. The Mertens will be in there a lot. I'm going to raise the level of the water, uh, but here it is, man. I use the shelving, some of the same aluminum tubing uh, for the shelving and a little bit of the vinyl coated wire so that it's actually a, um, a really cool, secure uh, basking platform. They get nice amounts of sun here, but they also have the awesome bamboo. We've got that, uh, the Timor black bamboo right there. And we have the South American species of Guadua bamboo uh, right on the other side. So it really frames it nicely. And I'm excited because um, the bamboo, as you know, I love building with it. I love to use it. It just gives me that Robinson Crusoe feel. I'm living off the land or like Tarzan. I love it. Uh, so if I could bamboo my entire house, I would. Uh, but I don't think Kate would dig that. But what do you guys say we go get the Mertens and show the Mertens his new habitat? This is awesome, guys. Uh, and it's right here inside the um you know the marginated and the herman's tortoise habitat and if you look over there in in the window you see the habitat for the little creatures uh you can barely make them out but uh there's a sophia monster in there uh i've been feeding her some crickets uh come on guys let's get this merton's water monitor i love doing this guys and it has nothing to do with uh how much money you have it's about how creative are you how patient can you become and what can you do for your animals? It's not about spending tons of money on it, it's what are you able to do for your critters. So uh, let's get this little thing, and let's see, the Mertens usually is in the water. He's right there. Where is he? Oh, he's out of the water. Oh boy, this is gonna be difficult to get him because he's on the other side of, and this is why I wanted a new enclosure. He's on the other side of the water bowl. See them down there? That's what they do. They like to get into little spaces. So let me go ahead and chase them out from here. Oh, I already got a lizard. I just don't want to get bit either by this guy because that's possible too. Oh, here, you should go on the other side and see the lizard. I can see him from here. Oh, you can? Is he he's coming? coming? His face is this way. Is he hissing? Yeah, he's hissing. Oh, don't bite me, buddy. He's coming around this way. Is he coming around? Yeah, yeah. He's oh. all puffed He'll up. be coming around the mountain when he comes. He'll be coming around the water bowl when he comes. All right, this is not going to be easy. This is good. Now it's becoming an adventurous video because now i got to grab this little dude without getting bit by him. Come on. Come on. There we go. Don't get bit. Yeah, that's what monitors do. They, they do these threat displays. Um, they act all big and bad and stuff. Um, now, he's not bitten me before, but that doesn't mean he won't do it now because... Usually I don't give him the opportunity. I just get him a good little grab behind the... That's why this cage is curtains for this cage. No, why not? He's kind of standing his ground a little bit, isn't he? And I want to be gentle. Oh, he's whipping. That's total monitor action. Oh, God. All right. Look, I'm just going to be gentle. I'm going to risk a bite. And if I take a bite, I'm just going to let him bite me. Look at that. Nothing. Oh, yeah, you're tough. I know. Come on. This is one of the most beautiful monitors I've ever seen. I knew um, when I first saw these in Australia in 2000, and when was I there? I believe I was there in 2009 or eight. 
Um, I first saw the Mertens water monitor at some of the zoological parks there. I was like, oh my gosh, this is an incredible lizard. So he'll get much bigger, as I've mentioned in other videos. Uh, and this, this enclosure is just perfect for him right now. It's just going to be huge. He'll have plenty of spaces to hide and do what he's got to do. So what I want to do is I'm going to release him into the enclosure and give him an opportunity to explore. The one thing I'm going to have to be very conscious of is when I open this door, I want to make sure that he's not near the door so that he can run out. Um, so I'll always try and get an eyeball on him, but let's go for it. Let's put him right up here this way. He just gets to explore. There he goes. Oh God, how awesome is that? There is the Mertens water monitor. How beautiful is that, everybody? So we're gonna get you some footage of him exploring his new enclosure. Uh, I'm super excited. I can't wait to see him basking and walking about. Uh, might be a few, uh, maybe a week before he settles in. As you know, reptiles sometimes need a little bit to settle in. Uh, I think he's gonna enjoy the space, uh, but more importantly, I think he's really gonna find this a great place to grow and get comfortable. And uh, I'm happy because I'll be able to watch him and uh, he's looking pretty amazing as he's craning that neck up. All right, everyone, that's it for me. I'm done. I'm just going to enjoy this enclosure. Thanks, Kate. You're welcome. Appreciate that. I uh, just want to tell everyone, thank you so much. If you enjoy the videos, why don't you go ahead and hit the patreon.com slash Camp Kennan, and you can help us by supporting uh, the show and the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and go on over to the Camp Kennan Army. Subscribe there as well. Uh, like and comment if you have any questions. And uh, maybe we'll do a video answering some questions and we'll do it live on a Thursday. Uh, don't forget, that's when I like to go live. All right, everyone, that's it for me. That's it for Marty the Mertens monitor. Uh, you got him in the shot? Oh, I got him. Oh, you're good, girl. I don't have you, though. I don't need to be on. It's not about me. It's about the Mertens water monitor. And, uh, well, that's it. I'll see you all soon. So long. Uh -huh.